Yeah. Get all of this snow off the car. Uh, I see you humming a little bit. Uh, so much snow. Hey, good morning everybody. If it's your first time to my channel, my name is Costas Lozanis. We are here in Rockwall, Texas, which is a neighborhood, a sub-city of Dallas, Texas. And we are on day four of this blizzard that hit us. Right now there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people who don't have electricity, who don't have water, who don't have heat. So for us, if we can, I don't even know if we can do this, but if we can open up our restaurant and use social media to let people know, hey, there's, there's a public house, a pub, a taverna, which is really significant because the first house that was built, the first building that was built in a village or in a town would be the public house, the pub, and that's where people would go to seek refuge. And it's just fitting that I own a pub where people can come in and seek refuge Can actually use my establishment for what it was intended historically to do. I think that's just so neat. Uh, so let's go and see what we can do. Let's see if we can feed some people and uh, warm up some souls. I think some of my cooks shut up. Mateo and Tony, two awesome guys. They're gonna see if we can make this a reality. Oh yeah. Who pissed off Elsa this morning? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh my goodness, we didn't clean up all the way, huh? Luckily it's only been a few days. Okay, so we have the restaurant opened up. We're gonna be good for business. The problem is I have no staff, I have no labor. Jordan actually told me that I could come pick him up. Good morning. Good morning. Don't slip. You gonna make some money today? I'll do my best. Dude, we'll get some good business. I think we're going to, man. Did you play in the snow? Did you build a snowman? Yeah, that was one in the front yard, but it was kind of small. <laughs> Past their hearing. Hey, hey! How about this? What are y'all doing? Look at this. We are the snow removal crew. Are y'all clearing out my space? You gotta have a little space to walk up. Oh my goodness. And get the best Greek food in town. How amazing is this? Right? Wow. Yeah. Make it as easy as we can for people to eat. Jeez Louise. Without slipping and falling. Jeez. That's amazing. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for doing that. You're very welcome. I was like, who, who's I was like, who's, who's stealing all my snow? <laughs> Blue snow even. Did you want us to load it up somewhere to take home? No, with I, you? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Guys, that's too much. Thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome. Unbelievable. Dude, they did all the work. What's up? I just got here. I got the shovel. You can tell it's made for snow. Thanks for coming by, man. Yeah. It's cold out here. Yeah, I was ready to wait some tables. Hey, it's the who most know, upsetting who news I've got in 2021 so far. That's crazy. They came up here with all the stuff. I know. Isn't that cool? Jamie, you missed a spot. That's What's up? Crazy. How are you? You look like an Eskimo today. I feel this is. I'm. I'm dressed light today. Today's <laughs> not as bad. I've been, show, I've been showing your boy up on uh, on social media. I've been posting all my drone shots and I stuff. Know. I don't know he hasn't put doing. anything up. It's because we don't have the internet. It's because we don't have internet or electricity. I told him to come over the other day. Guys, where do y'all come in from today? Rockwell. Rockwell. How long have you been out without, without power? We yes. have power, but no water. water. <laughs> no water? Yeah. So you didn't shower before you came? No. You get Jeez. all the, you get all the funk, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for coming. Everything's good so far? So far? Awesome. Yeah, really. awesome, guys. How's this weather com compared to Chicago weather? Cold is cold. But 
preparation means everything. And these folks, somebody needs to be fired. Somebody didn't prepare. And you can't say, well, we only go through this maybe every five or 10 years. That's not a good excuse. Because guess what? When you have a pattern, and the pattern was the same, this is gonna happen. And you knew two or three weeks out that this was gonna happen. Yeah. And you didn't prepare. Right. Don't tell me one section of Rowlett got it, section over here ain't got it. Or I call up the McKinney, they never been without power. But you're telling me this is shared rolling blackout. I can't tell. Because we were out for what? We were out for a good little while. Then it came back on for about 10 minutes and then back out again. Six and a half hours later. So they got me stuck in the kitchen all night long. I didn't even get a chance to come out tonight and see everyone, but we packed up the place. Uh, I think the longest cook time was 56 minutes, which is very disappointing, and I'm so sorry to each of you that had to wait longer than like 20 minutes, but I'm glad I was able to give you guys some good food and, and some nourishment and a place to warm up and uh, all those things. So um, yeah, we're opening in tomorrow, Thursday, it's tomorrow Thursday, I don't even know what day it is, but we'll be open again and ready to cook and feed you guys another day. Hey, what are you doing here? come to take you out. Why are you coming when I'm busy? Uh, well, I come to see, I was going to take you there. You want to open the restaurant, you got to work yourself. <laughs> and I come back there and I see you. I said, man. This was worse than Valentine's Day today. I know. It was crazy. But you had to do what you had to do. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah, I've never did it. In fact, I, I hung up the phone. I said, I forgot to tell Costas. This is what I wanted to tell you. I forgot to tell you. You want to open it? You get there yourself because they need to see you that if you're there, you're struggling, then you may get a couple of people in. That's right. It worked. But, but you did good. Yeah, we did good. Well, you haven't been back in the kitchen busy in a long time, so. I know. It gives you an idea what you could Remind what, me of what it was. What's going on back there, you know? Did a good job. Thank good you job. Guys. All right. We've been without power most of the time. Most of the time you've been without power. Yes. So this is nice right now. Oh, yeah. It's very <laughs> nice. I'm glad you're open. Have a little bar and some cocktails. Oh guys, that was beyond intense. We ran out of all of our food basically. So I'm gonna start up my big Opa van and uh, get ready to go to the restaurant supply store if they're open. I don't even know if they're open yet. All right guys, let's see if we can get it started. It started. That's amazing. All right. First, we have the pandemic. Then we have this blizzard. Restaurant owner can't catch a break. It's okay. It just makes it stronger, right? Thank you guys for watching today's vlog. As always, hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.